Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com um, So, I know a lot of you have been requesting how to root your ICS um, Let's go do it uh, This is for the GTN 7000 European Asian International International versions um, GTN 7000 I've got 4.0.3, this is for ICS only um, and I've got XXLPY. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you have Android 4.0.3, 4.0.4, anything that starts with 4.0. whatever is fine. And also GTN 7000. This method should work. Um, so first, let's go to the browser and uh, go to this site called Download Android. Whoops. ROM.com. All right, and you can you're gonna download three files, or you can download it. I'll have the links. Um, you can just open it up and download three files. But I'll show you how to browse it here. Um, go to Galaxy Note and uh, go to Rooting, and then go to um, ICS. And uh, you can also download this on your computer and copy it over. It's up to you. But I'm just going to show it here. Um, so you can do. You can actually root your phone without anything. Just with your uh, with your phone. You can be on a bus. This is a really cool way to do it. I go to ICS, and uh, you'll find three files in there. Download all three files. Um, and also, uh, you'll need a micro SD card inserted for this method. Make sure you have an extra micro SD card back here, like I do here. All right. If you don't, um, you'll have to use Odin or another method. Um, but most of you should have a, a thing there. So go download these three files. Uh, I'll walk you through. So I'm gonna click on the first one, and then you'll see the download link come up here. Wait five seconds and click on the. Uh, click to download and that's starting download and then um, you can hit back button to go back to the, uh, the previous page and download the other two the downloading yes the first one downloading complete and uh, here we go or you can just download on your computer it's probably faster um, go download the cwm.zip next. All right. This way, this is a, a method, so you don't need a uh, computer. So you don't even have to have a Windows, Mac, or Linux. You just do it all on your um, phone. And also, this won't increase your uh, binary count. Um, so that's good. Um, it won't increase. It won't increase it. Click here to download. I'm going to download that, and then let me go download the third file. And uh, I'm almost done, but it's probably faster if you download on your computer. Just copy it over to the SD card, not the internal, the SD card of your phone. And I think this actually downloads on the um, to the SD card. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on that. But usually, when you download uh, files on your phone it will go into a download directory on either on your SD card or your internal we'll have to double check we might have to move the files um, come on so two files complete Let's download the Franco kernel um, if you want just root you just want to use rooted apps you don't have to install the, install the kernel um, but if you want to um, then you can install the uh, if you want to install custom ROMs and stuff and they have a permanent clock group mod recovery um, then you can install Franco kernel you don't have to, I just include it um, just in case people need it so I'll be back with this loads there we go, I'm going to download uh, Franco kernel if you want to, you don't have to um, this is just an ICS kernel and uh, there we go So I'm going to download all three files. Alright, so once you've got the three files downloaded, um, you can use uh, My Files to move all those files. My Files here, 
and I'd actually download it to um, if you go to your SD card and download folder it actually downloaded it to my internal storage which is what I don't want so I'm gonna move all these three files uh, I'm gonna move it to ooh. Uh, yeah go to external SD and I'm gonna move it here I'm just gonna move all the three files here or you can do is just download it and just put it in your external SD card um, but I, I'm just, I just want to show you just in case you're doing this on a bus or a plane or whatever so go back to SD card um, go to download and uh, move all these over move over to external SD move here and it'll just put it in the root directory and I'm going to go back to SD card download um, hold down the Franco move um, external SD and oops you know, ah. or you can use the US file explorer too it's easier um, go to external SD move here so now all those three files are here right so CWM is basically it'll, it'll allow you to launch Clockroma recovery from stock recovery and this is basically rooting files and also um, you know if you want to flash a kernel with permanent recovery you can flash this but you don't have to you can just use this one to install um, install something else um, so there we go so let's boot into stock recovery hold down volume up center button and the power button for about 10 seconds and uh, the good thing is you know uh, we don't need a computer and do this anywhere and also doesn't increase um, your binary count which is uh, a method now you can let go when you see that uh, which is a method Samsung can tell if you root at your phone or not um, here go to apply apply update from external storage hit the power button um, go choose the cwm.zip hit the power button and this will launch Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, when you in, when you want to install new ROMs, you can do this um, right here, and then um, install a new ROM from here. And uh, when you install a new ROM, it'll probably come with clock, a new version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, you know, with the Galaxy Note, the recovery is part of the ROM. It's actually part of the kernel, and a kernel uh, comes with the ROM. So every time you install a ROM, you, you're most likely flashing its own version of Clockwork Mod Recovery, whatever version it comes with. Um, so now here, we're here, and uh, just go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and uh, go to, um, oh, sorry. It could be the opposite. I think back is this way, but no, is it? No, it's this way, yeah. Just, just go all the way down to, um, go back. Um, it might be backwards, you might have, actually internal is SD card, so this is backwards. Sometimes the, it's backwards. Choose it from internal SD card, sorry, and go find the uh, CWM Super SU. And here you, here you can actually flash new ROMs if you want, um, so that's how you flash it. But you just need flash ROM once to get a permanent recovery, or you can flash the Franco kernel. Uh, just let that on there, just an option. So choose CWM dash super su blah blah dot zip say yes and this will root your phone and that's it you re reboot um, and if you wanna uh, if you want permanent recovery so you can hold down volume up power and the center button you can install Franco kernel which is uh, I'll show you also that and go back and let's let's just reboot now if you just want root this is all you have to do um, that was pretty simple and it take you like five minutes very 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 safe all we're doing is um, we, the only thing we did was give uh, Flash a root rooting files to your Galaxy Note. At the worst, it will fail, but it will not fail because um, it will work on any any um, Galaxy Note. In fact, that that rooting file actually works on any Android device. Um, so let me clear all this up, make it nice, and there you go. And we should have Super SU here. And 
there you go so that's how you root your Galaxy Note on ICS and if you want to install a new ROM um, just keep that cwm.zip file and then uh, do the same thing but we'll go, we'll go flash a new uh, kernel right now so hold down volume up center and the home button if you want to um, but so long as you have that cwm.zip file you can flash new ROMs uh, without flashing a new kernel um, and once you flash a new custom uh, ROM it will come with a permanent clockwork mod recovery so instead of getting this you'll get clockwork mod recovery right away if you flash a custom ROM so here let's go back and uh, flash Franco kernel um, it's a good kernel by the way uh, apply update from SD external ex uh, storage and go to cwm.zip again you need a external SD card otherwise the, the stock recovery doesn't work without that and now it launch um, clockwork my recovery um, install zip from SD card uh, choose zip from internal SD card since this is backwards um, and I'm gonna go find the Franco kernel and you can here you can choose a ROM zip file if you want to install a custom ROM and uh, say yes install the Franco kernel and this is um, this is a good good ICS kernel and reboot and you should have Franco kernel now um, I don't think it actually supports overclocking does it? I'm not sure I'll have to find out but um, there you go you've got a rooted phone with a custom kernel um, you can skip the kernel part if you if you like being on stock. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just up to you. It's just an option. You can stop um, after rooting, and uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, when you want to again, when you want to install a uh, custom ROM, just do the same thing with the cwm.zip with the stock recovery, um, and then install a new ROM. But uh, installing Franco kernel now, now gives you a uh, clockwork mod recovery. Um, you can do uh, volume up, center, and the power button now, and it'll go straight into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. But for flashing ICS ROMs, I don't actually. I actually recommend you to you flash uh, BIS kernel right before you flash a new ROM, um, because that one has been proven safe for ICS and Gingerbread. So there you go. So I've got it booted. So anyway, that was how you uh, root your Galaxy Note on uh, ICS while you're in the bus. Um, so long as you have an external SD card, you can do this all on your phone. Um, and if you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, um, rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once or twice a week with Rama the Week, week tips, rooting, and more. And uh, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email. Um, I do respond to emails as much as I can. Um, might take me a longer, um, or yeah, I'll get back to you anyway. Anyway, um, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps me greatly. Subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot, and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And that's how you root your Galaxy Note with your phone only. And see y'all later. Don't be a hater. And also, if you want to, uh, you know, find, if you want to do it using Odin, I'll have uh, another video for that, or Heimdall, if you want to. But this is the simplest method. Just get an external SD card. See y'all later.